Hello, and welcome to part one in a series of tutorials that will show you how to build a custom theme from scratch with the new Builder Pro plugin from Themeify. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a custom header from scratch. Now, in order for the Builder Pro plugin to work, you will need to have the standard Builder plugin from Themeify installed or simply use any Themeify theme. In this tutorial, I'll be using the Ultra theme from Themeify. This is the header that we're going to create. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to hover over Turn on Builder and select Pro Templates. Then we're going to click on Add New. We'll give our template a name. And we'll click Next. Here we'll choose Blank because we're going to be creating this header from scratch. Go ahead and click Publish. As you can see, our header is completely blank so far. Let's go ahead and add our site logo. To do this, we'll click the plus sign and we'll select the site logo and drag it up to our column. We're gonna make sure we have logo text selected, site URL selected, and we'll give it a tag of H1. As you can see, so far our logo is small, red, and the wrong font. Let's go ahead and fix that. First, we'll click on the Styling tab. We'll go to Font. For the color, we'll choose Black. For the Font Family, we're going to choose Playfair Display. Here it is. For font size, let's try 130. We're going to want to center it, make it all caps, and we need to get rid of this underline that shows up when we hover. To do this, we'll come down here to link, choose hover, and for text decoration, choose none. There we go. Let's go ahead and click done. Now for our menu, we'll click the plus sign again. And this time we'll drag menu up to our column. And we're going to want to center our menu. And for background color, we'll give it black. Now we want to get rid of this gray hover when we hover over each item. To do that, we'll come over here to styling menu links, background, hover, we'll pick any background and drag the opacity down to zero. There we go. Now we do want to give the text color a little bit of a gray when we hover over it. So let's click the pencil to edit. We'll go to styling, menu links, font, hover, and we'll pick a grayish color, right about there, and click Done. Very good. Let's see what this looks like on the front end of our website. We'll click the orange Save button, and we'll click the X. Now we'll go back to our home page. Okay, as you can see, we're almost there, but we did forget about our active link. Right now, our active link has a gray background, and we don't want that, so how do we fix it? Well, we can edit any of our templates at any time on the front end simply by hovering over the template and choosing Edit Template. We'll click the pencil over the menu to edit. We'll go to Styling. We're going to go to Current Links background, and for the color, we'll drag the opacity down to zero. Now while we're here, we also want to change the font. We're looking for a font called Judson. Here it is. And I think we'll increase the font a little bit. Let's try 18 pixels. That's a little too big. I'll use a down arrow on my keyboard 
to lower the font size. 17 looks perfect. I'll click Done, Save, and click the X. Let's compare this to our complete theme and see how it looks. Oh, as you can see, our menu needs to be full width. We also have some social media links and a search bar. Let's go back to our custom theme and add those things. We'll click on Edit Template. We're going to come over here to the row. And under Row Options, we'll choose Full Width. Then we'll edit our menu and choose Menu Full Bar. That takes care of that. Now we need to add our social media links and our search bar. To do this, we're going to need to insert another row with two columns. To do that, we'll click the plus sign and we'll drag this two column row up above our heading. In the left side, we'll click the plus sign again and search for icon. Here we're going to choose a Facebook icon from the Themeify library. Simply search for Facebook and select the icon. We'll give it the label. You can add a link to your Facebook page. We'll give it a transparent background. Now we'll go to Styling, Icon, Color, and choose Black. Now we'll click Done. And you can see we have our first icon. Let's click the pencil again and add another icon. We'll click Add New. This time we'll search for an Instagram icon. Again, we'll give it a transparent background. And click Done. Let's add one more. Let's add a YouTube icon. Search for YouTube. Select the icon. Transparent background. And done. Now, we can center the icons. And we can increase the size. Let's try large. That looks better. We'll click done. Now for our search bar. Before I insert the search bar itself, I'm actually going to add another row with two columns inside this column. To do that, I'll click the green plus sign and select the two column row. Now I'm going to insert the search form into the right column. And I do want to style this a little bit. It's a little too tall. To do this, we'll click on styling search input, and padding. I'm going to give it a padding top and bottom of 3, and a left and right of 10. There we go. And I'll do the same thing to the button. Padding, unlink, 3 for top and bottom, 10 for left and right. There we go. Now I'm going to go to the General tab and give the whole thing a padding of about 10 pixels, just to give it some breathing room. We'll click Done, Save, and click the X. And there we have it. We just created a beautiful header from scratch without any code. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.